What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition. Welcome back to... Yo, man, I stared, like, welcome back to I stare at this screen for 10 minutes, man. I, I know I cut it out and it doesn't look long, but bros, I sat there for so long, for so long, staring at Sala for 1,060,000 coins, and I didn't even make this decision myself. See, I went on Twitter and I put a poll because there was a few different guys I actually wanted to buy, and... To my surprise, Sala completely destroyed it, absolutely annihilated it. 8,000 people voted, and Sala pretty much won by 50%. Now, right now, I'm showing you guys every player that sold. If you don't know how we got a lot of these informs and these team of the seasons, you guys got to go check out last night's video because late at night, I posted my Elite One rewards. Make sure to go check that out so you don't get behind on any of the content here on this channel. And before we go any further, if you can smash a big old thumbs up as it helps the channel grow, man. Can we get 5,000 likes? Make sure subscribe and turn your bell on now bros i went on twitter i put a poll Eight thousand people voted and sala pretty much got 50 percent okay behind him was mares with like 26 and then it was one to watch neymar now one to watch neymar came in with like 25 percent or 20 they both had like 20 it was something like that now um bros at the end of the day i i'm gonna be honest with you guys and i want to read a comment to you guys Ali Recent, I hope I said that right, Ali Recent, he said, I got Salah and Young because I asked you guys what team of the seasons you guys got in the last episode, and also in the last episode I asked that question, and once again, I want to re you that question because the new team of the season is about to come out today, and if you're watching this video after the new team of the season, let me know what new team of the season you got, and even if you didn't do that, let me know what team of the season you have got up to this point. Now, Ali Recent said, I got Salah and Young, and he said, what do you think about Young? Or what do you think, Young or Alexandro? And the reason I bring up his question from the last video, bros, is because, Ali, to answer your question, Young has been one of the players that I've had the most, like, annoying and the worst time going up against since Team of the Season has started. And I know that sounds pretty crazy with Aguero being available, with uh, Sonaldo being available. Young has been the guy that I've absolutely hated playing against because every time I match up against him, I have to avoid the left back position. Up until this point, you've had Alexandro back there, and then you've had Tellez, and you've had decent players back there. But it's never been a really, really pacey left back. And for the first time, there's a really, really pacey left back back there. Salah just scored. Welcome to the squad, Salah, his debut goal. Um, and Young is now back there. And, and Young is so annoying to play against that when I'm playing against him, bros, I actually avoid going down his way because he's so fast he can recover to anything. Now, that brings me to the point of which one is better. I'm not sure. And I'm not going to tell you that Young is better than Alexandro because I'm yet to use Young. But the reason I brought that question up is because I want Mares, Young, and Fernandinho. But I bought Salah. And I bought Salah because everyone on Twitter voted for Salah. It's the Bullion Nation. You guys get what you want. And also, people were telling me he's the best team of the season ever. That there was no better team of the season than him. And I didn't know if it was Liverpool fans messaging me. I didn't know if it was, uh, you know, my homies from Egypt messaging me. But people were really, really stuck on this Salah card. And I was really stuck on signing Mares. But I thought to myself, listen, I got to give the Booyah Nation what the Booyah Nation wants. They want Salah. They want the best team of the season ever. I'm going to deliver Salah. And right now, for me, it's all about getting top 100. Right now, for me, I'm hoping that Salah is the thing. Salah is the guy. Salah is the card that springs us back into the top 100 conversation. We came one game away from top 100 last weekend. And I cannot have that again. And I'm hoping right now that Salah is going to be the difference as he scores his second goal with the club. Now, in this whole conversation that we just had about Salah and Young, the one thing I got to say about Team of the Season is Team of the Season has made a game that was already unbalanced completely unbalanced. Like, completely. And the reason I say that is because, bros, we're seeing Sonaldo with 92 plus pace, something like that. Agüero with 96 pace without a freaking card on him. Salah with 99 pace. And the center backs that have come out. Vertonghen, I always say his name wrong, like 75 pace or under. Otamendi, under 75 pace. PK, under 75 pace. We didn't get center backs to balance this game out. And this is where I got to say, EA, you really dropped the ball here. Because I know PK is not super fast in real life. I know Vertonghen is not super fast in real life. But is Salah really 99 pace in real life? Is Salah really the fat? When you say 99 pace, you're saying he's the fastest player in football, right? You're saying 99 pace. It's the fastest you can run in football. So anyone you give 99 pace, they're the fastest. I wouldn't say Salah's the fastest out there ever. Like, 
in the game right now. So you're kind of exaggerating with this 99 pace, exaggerate with PKs and stuff, because what you've done is now force people to have to use Desai, Maldini, and Rio, because they're the only center backs in the games with plus 80 pace. Now, team of the seasons aren't that far off. You could find players out there with 80 pace, but do you get the same stats that Rio and, and these Maldini cards bring you? And I would say no. So at the end of the day, bros, the way I feel right now is that the game is super unbalanced. Obviously, attackers being way stronger. Now, is Salah the best card I've ever used? I am going to show you Salah's stats in a minute, the, what he's done for me in the nine games he's played. I need to stress this the most. A lot of people would hide for this fact. I'm not going to hide from this fact. I played four games with him in squad battles because I'm not playing squad battles. I had to win four games on World Class just like everybody else to unlock the left back um, team of the season card that I'm going to need to turn into a guaranteed SBC sometime this week. Um, so for that reason, I played squad battles. And his stats look very, very, I mean, he is scoring. And this is all Division One gameplay you're watching right now. He is scoring, but the stats he is going to show I want you to know that I won every single squad battle game on world class. I'm not even lying to you guys. I'm not exaggerating. I won every game 10-0. And I stopped scoring goals after the 63rd minute. So the stats are going to look very lopsided on Salah, okay? Now, the next thing I want to say is this. I play a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1, which means Salah is always very wide outside. Now, the reason I wanted to get... Mares, Young, and Fernandinho over Salah was for the simple fact that in a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1, Salah's going to be so far out that I can't justify a million, almost 1.1 million coins on a player that's going to be that far outside. Now, I did play Ronaldo, who went for more outside, but at the end of the day, Ronaldo is Ronaldo. Now, do I dislike Salah? No, Salah's absolutely fantastic, and he could be the best team of the season card. But the only way I can tell if he's the best team of the season card is if I put him at the number nine position. But guess what? I'm not putting him at the number nine position. Because right now, as I speak to you guys, this Agüero card, look, I have my Xbox open right now, so I'm just going to lob you guys some stats. First of all, I'll start with R9. 346 games, 432 goals. That's crazy. I move on to my Agüero, which is first owned. 28 games played, 47 goals and 40 assists. 47 goals in 28 games. Sonaldo has played from the left mid position in a 4-4-2, has played 48 games and 43 goals. So before I move Agüero out of that position, Salah has to knock off Agüero, R9, and Sonaldo. Because if there's anyone that should be playing that number nine position, it should be Sonaldo. But I can't force Sonaldo into the lineup or into those number nine positions because Agüero and R9 are just doing way too good for me. So Salah's the fourth guy that can move to the number nine position. And that's where I say, I don't know if he was worth the 1.1 million coins because he's never gonna get the position that he deserves. Now we go back to the first conversation we had. Center backs have no pace. Salah has 99 pace. Salah at the number nine position is getting you results. Salah at the number nine position could be the difference between you getting gold one, elite three, elite two. They could move you to the elite one conversation because this card is that broken. It's that fast. And I'm telling you right now, I play him on the right mid position or the left mid. I can tell you he's one of the fastest cards I've ever touched. The only card, in my opinion, is, fat, is the fastest card in the game is Lozano. And I got to say, Salah's, Salah's giving him a big run for his money. This Salah card is ridiculously fast. The only thing I got to say, again, because I haven't used him at the number nine position, I can't... I don't think 99 pace should cost 1.1 million coins. Now, I don't know if this guy can score with the best of them because I haven't moved him to the number nine position. I want to jump to one more conversation that was in the comments down below on, my, on, on, on the last, not the road of glory that went up last night, but the one before, on the one that was, oh my God, I got 97 De Gea. For the first time, I felt like it's about time that I delivered to the Booyah Nation a few things. I delivered Salah because you guys wanted it, and I delivered De Gea because since Christmas time, you guys have been saying skills. I'm going to need you to stop playing with farming. I'm going to need you to stop playing with all these keepers that are ass. And I'm going to need you to put a good keeper in that. So I finally said, listen, I'm doing it. I'm going, I'm going for it. I'm going for Gusto. And I picked up team of the season, 97 rated De Gea. My man, Jam, I want to say this right. Jam Jars. I want to say Jam Jar Spence. I hope I said that right. Jam Jar. He said, sell De Gea, buy regular one. No keepers worth 700K. Like so skills can see 53 thumbs up. Bros, bros, bros. You wanted this. This is what you guys wanted. 
You guys wanted this. You wanted a good keeper. I finally deliver. And the first comment that's on the video is for me to sell the De Gea. So right now, I got to say, I, I can't agree with y'all right now. I got to give this man. Here we go. Nine games, 19 goals, eight assists. Remember, five division one, four squad battles. Judge it how you want. Four wearing squad battles. I was scoring 10 goals a game. Judge it how you want. Up next, guaranteed EPL upgrades. I got 10 of them. Let's let these things fly. Now, I got to say, bros, I'm going to have to tell you no. I don't say no to you guys often, but I got to say no. Listen, for the first time, we're going into a weekend league with the best defensive line that, you know, I could ever ask for. I love this back line, okay? We got Maldini, we got Rio, we got Alexandro, we got uh, Valencia. Yes, I want Young back there, but I'm extremely happy with that back line. For the first time, I am going into a weekend league with the best goalkeeper in the game. I know that. There is no better keeper than team of the season De Gea. I know that. Maybe his team of the year, but I know I have the best in that slot. I've never gone into a weekend league with the best in the slot, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see what the best in slot keeper can do for me. I'm going into the weekend league with Vieira and right card, which I feel very comfortable with. I'm going into the weekend league with the best in slot R9 and Aguero. And then out on the wings, I have Salah and I have Sonaldo. For me, it's sit back and let's see what we can do. This is no moment to say time to sell somebody. Is Salah going to make all 40 games for me? I really hope so. But I'm going to tell you something, bros. This Mares is calling my name. This Mares is screaming for me. And Fernandinho is screaming for me in a way that I just don't know what to do. Like, I, no homo. I just, listen, man. This, this... This Fernandinho has like 93, def 93 defending, 93 physical, and like 83 pace. And I just say, man, he's such a great replacement to right card. He's such a great upgrade. And then I look at, you know, um, Mares, and he has 90 pace, crazy passing, crazy shooting, four-star skills, four-star weak foot for only not even 300K. And I go to myself, okay, we wasted 1.1 on Salah. If we just would have got Mares, and if we just would have got Fernandinho, we still would have had money left over, and we would have had a very good right mid in there either way. Now, I am not regretting buying Salah. Don't take it that way. What I'm talking to you guys about is all the other options. Can this guy still be the best team of the season ever? Maybe. You guys say he is. Not you guys. Let me say a lot of you guys because not all of you. A lot of you guys say he is. I can't go and say he is yet because I haven't tried him in all the positions. You know, in nine games, it's not fair for me to say whether a player good or bad. It's not okay to judge a player on nine games. And that's why I want to give him as much of the 40 as possible. Now, you guys know how I am. Once I get into the weekend league, once I start feeling out the weekend league, because the weekend league much different than squad battles in Division 1. Once I start feeling out Salah, if I see he's not producing, if I see he's not bringing enough energy to the squad, then you know I'm going to be like, yo, relax, boy, it's time for you to go. And I'm going to sell him and we're going to look a different way. That's what we do. We do what we can to try to get top 100. But right now... You understand? By this thumbnail, by what you're looking at, by the title of this video, you can see that I'm putting all the eggs in the basket of Salah. And I'm saying that Salah's going to go out there and get us top 100. And I'm saying this team is the team that can get us top 100. And I'm saying that we're back and we got to make this happen. And that's, that's how I feel. So the biggest thing, bros, for me is what I'm trying to get across to you guys is there's good with all these cards coming out we want to play with all of them but there's going to be times where you got to make tough decisions and today i made two very tough decisions i went with salah because i wanted Mares more but i went with salah because you guys said salah was better by a long shot and eight thousand people 50 percent went for salah 25 went for Mares. 25 went for one to watch neymar one to watch neymar is no joke bro so for people to vote over him is mental and then i went made another hard decision i looked you guys in the face and said I, I'm not selling De Gea right now. Does that mean tomorrow you're going to show up and De Gea is going to be gone? I don't know. I don't ever buy a player and sell a player like to be like, hey, guys, look, I bought, I sold. I, I do it because I, I think he's going to work. And if he doesn't pan out, then he doesn't pan out. But I always buy a player hoping he's going to work. I didn't waste 1.1 million coins on Salah to be like, okay, bro, you got to go after nine games. I got to give this man a go. I got to see if he's the best team of the season in the game. I got to find this out for you guys. And I, I just haven't seen enough from De Gea to say, okay, yeah, he is... His team of the season is way better than his regular, but I haven't seen enough to say, okay, wait, let me get rid of him and go with a different keeper in the spot. So anyways, in the comments down below, bros, ask me 
any question you want. I've been going through my comments loads, trying to see what you guys are saying, trying to understand what you got, what you, what, 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 what's going through y'all's head. For example, Leonardo said, "I got the goat, Sonaldo and Mane. I, I got Walker as a duplicate, untradeable." Leonardo, congratulations on your Sonaldo and your Mane pool. Those are humongous pools. Also, David Waters said he got Sonaldo. My man Henry got Vertoglin. I cannot say that man's name. And Sane, another guy. Sane, another guy that could easily bring the same amount of speed that Salah is bringing to the table as a left mid. Now, again, if I was in a 4-3-1-2, if I was in a 4-1-2-1-2, I think Salah is the man. I think Salah could be the best team of the season at the cam position and move him up to the number nine when I need him. But in a 4-4-2, I don't know. And that's the biggest thing about FIFA. Every player is situational. Every player is formation. Every player is what works at the time. We're going to see. We're going to find out. You guys said this was the best team, of the, best EPL team of the season. I'm going to try them. I'm going to let you guys know. And I'm going to do my best this weekend. Speaking of this weekend league, if you guys are playing, I wish you guys the best. best. I hope you guys get your best ever finish. If you missed yesterday's team of the season upload or uh, reward upload, there'll be a link in the description. And also the playlist. It's uh, our elite ones. And we hit a pretty big card, which you guys saw we sold. Hope you guys enjoyed. Big thumbs up as it helps the channel grow. Make sure to subscribe and turn your bell on. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Booyah. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A, Not Skills, and welcome back to the rewards, baby. Welcome back to an epic video. I got so much content in this video, and I want to make this video as lit as possible. Now, you see we have 400,000 coins. I did sell a player. I am buying a new player, but that's not con going to consist of this episode. In this episode, we're going to have the Elite One rewards, which was, I say, from last week for this one. I'm going to try to get that big boy Aubameyang. We also got our Elite One uh, from this week, which contains Team of the Seasons. We can get all kinds of Team of the Seasons in it. And then, on top of that, I am going to have draft rewards in this video. I'm going to start this episode off with the draft. It's the Road for Champions RTG Edition. Welcome back. If you guys are lit with all the rewards and happy that we got a bunch of rewards, smash a big old thumbs up. If you think I can get top 100, smash a thumbs up. Drop that positive vibes, man. Can we get 10,000 likes for top 100 incoming this weekend? With that being said, bros, I'm going to do a draft real quick to get you guys more packs.